Hello, breadwinners. We want to take you this week on a tour of the bakery to show you all the different things we do in the different rooms that we do them in. So right now we're in the mixing room. This is where the process starts. Um, this is our big spiral mixer. And this is the, uh, the sourdough feed has just stopped now. We're gonna raise this up. So you can see, this is called a spiral mixer. It has this arm here, and you could see while it was going that the bowl was turning around. What it does is it brings the dough up under this tool, which kneads down on it, and it's a very gentle, uh, very good action for bread making. The other cool thing about this mixer is this bowl comes off. So we have another mix uh resting over there it's going to go on here that's what's called an auto lease where it just sits in the bowl for about 20 minutes you want to come see that real quick so this is a sourdough batch and it is just the flour and water there's no salt and no starter in here yet but it's been sitting here so you can see part of the gluten has started to form so in about five more minutes, we're gonna put this on the mixer and finish that mix. But for right now, this is our starter feed. So having more than one bowl allows us to do different steps like that. And then it's also saves a little wear and tear on bakers. There we, go. we have this nifty bowl lift. It's gonna pick this whole thing up. And now this can be divided up. This is gonna go into these big tubs here. This is our first feeding on this sourdough. We do two or three feeds a day and each, each of those feeds gets is, uh, done twice. So this amount right here is the first feed on this two o'clock feed, but it will go back in the mixer later and be added to about eight o'clock tonight. So when we have bread doughs that come out, they go in these bus tubs. This is one that's been resting for a while. It's almost ready to go upstairs and be divided and shaped into loaves. So they, they're fermenting right here. This is the, the dough that's fermenting. This has already been given a fold about halfway through the fermentation, which is about two and a half hours total on these sourdoughs. And then it goes upstairs and they start shaping it. So let's go on up there and see what they're doing up there, because I think they've started on part of this stuff. Oh, look at all the flour we have. We just got a delivery yesterday. Each of these pallets is 50, 50 pound bags. And this, uh, we get two deliveries every week. So we're going through quite a bit of flour each week. So this is our long shaping table. <laughs> and then take a look at this machine here. Most of the stuff we do up here is by hand, but this one machine takes a piece of dough and divides it into 20 even pieces. But he just uses knives to do that. So it's just like a baker with a scale, but it allows us to do that dividing step a little bit quicker. So down there on that table where we dump the dough, they will divide the dough into these containers at a specific weight. So these are 800 grams each. That means there's 16 kilos in one of these and it's divided into 20 pieces. Here I can show you this machine. See how it just has these knives that come up and they cut the pieces. It's a very handy machine. 
but because it's just cutting the dough, just like a baker with a, a, a bench knife on the bench, it's very gentle on the dough. So now you see they're doing their pre-shape on these loaves. These will rest on the racks. And then they'll come back and give it the, the final shape and then place them in these banneton. They'll be upside down in the banneton and be proofing in there. And this is a fully proofed loaf from the last batch. So we've already done um, about, what is it, about 330 of these for the first batch, which are just going into the oven now. And they're starting on their second batch. It'll be another 330. And then the mix that was gonna happen just after we did that feed, that's another smaller batch, another 80, 90 loads today. And that varies from day to day, but that's what we're doing is uh, a good 700, 800 loads, some up to 1,000 on the weekends. So just the bulls, plus everything else we're doing right now. So, go over here. And we're gonna watch them load the oven now. So let's look at the oven first. These are our German-built deck ovens. Each of them has a stone floor, and the bread is baking directly on that stone floor. They also have an automatic steam injection that's set for each type of bread and gives the exact amount of steam that we want for that bread. Again, that's adding moisture into that baking chamber so that it can expand fully in the oven spring, and then also it gelatinizes the starch there and creates that beautiful crust that we get. Um, these also will automatically open a damper in the back and crack the door about usually about 15 or 20 minutes into the bake we let that steam out. That's like taking the lid off your Dutch oven. So it's doing the same thing. So in the beginning you want that moisture for the loaf to expand and to start to set that to gel that crust, to start to set that crust, but then later you want to remove that moisture so that your crust gets crispy and nice. Now, let's see I'm setting these on the loader. And they're gonna score the loaves. The scoring, of course, is to control that expansion. If you didn't score the loaves, they're gonna expand and kind of find a weak spot and burst out there, so you're gonna get all these funky shapes, depending on how they were shaped and things. Um, but if you score them properly, it allows them to expand nicely and evenly. Now, so, like I said, we don't have a whole lot of machines in the shaping area, right? Because that's where machinery makes, where these hands still make a difference. Shaping the bread, hands are still the best thing. Um, they keep that texture inside. They don't degas the dough in the same way that shaping machines do. So yes, we use the divider to help us go a little bit quicker, but like I said, it really is just like knives. Um, and beyond that, we just really don't use many machines. We're using our hands. But then, where we've been able to, in this nice facil new facility, where we could add things that help the bakers out, like that bowl lift that dumps the dough out, or this automatic loader, which is about to load, what is it, it's 28? 28 of these bowls in different for each size bread, but for these it's 28 at a time. And now it's just going to load all of those in at once.
And right now, now we're going to hear a click in just a second. Let's see if we can get up here close. There, we heard the click. And that means the steam came on just like that once the door was shut. And um, you can even see some steam coming out the doors a little bit, or I can anyway. <laughs> so I wish we could, uh, you know, uh, translate smells through the camera too, because it smells so great in this room right now. So anyway, as I was saying, so uh, downtown in our oven, we had a, a loader, but it had to be pushed in and pulled out manually, which it still makes loading a lot faster than loading each, uh, you know, two or four loaves by peel. And it makes it, puts them all, the whole deck in there at once, so they're baking evenly. But doing this eight or 10 hours over the course of an evening gets kind of wearing on the baker. So this automatic loader helps them in that respect too. So that's why we've added these kind of helps for the bakers. This makes their job a little bit easier. It's still a very physical, uh, demanding job. And we're certainly so proud of the crew that we have. We have a great crew that's been working all through this time. Now you're probably, some of you are probably wondering, why on earth are they not wearing gloves when they're handling the dough? Well, because we need our hands to be doing this work. But remember, they're going into this oven at almost like 470 degrees for about 40 minutes to 50 minutes. That's what we call a kill step. But what it means is that any pathogens of any kind are killed in that oven and they don't survive. Once you see a whole box of gloves right there, when they start to unload this oven, they're gonna be wearing gloves and everybody that touches the finished loaf after it comes out of this oven wears gloves the whole time. But we need to have our hands uh, to work these doughs and may also make sure we don't get plastic gloves stuck in the middle of them. So that's why we're not wearing gloves on the table or loading the oven. But rest assured, as soon as a finished loaf comes out, we have gloves on the whole time. And you can see we're all working wearing masks. I've even kept mine on for the video because I'm close to people. We take this whole safety thing very, very seriously here. So anyway, hope you've enjoyed this uh, great tour. It's been fun to do. Um, and I'm going to be monitoring the, the group today to uh, answer any questions while we're while well, we're taking you on this tour. And um, so fire me some questions. And don't forget, uh, Easy Tiger Breadwinners and EasyTigerUSA.com for all your home baking needs. Thanks a lot. <laughs>